Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages. My name is Michael, and welcome to Pizza Mind Mario. And welcome to Pizza Mind Mario Top 5 Favorites. What is Pizza Mind Mario Top 5 Favorites, you ask? Well, this is a series on my channel, where every Sunday, I'll give you my top 5 favorites of a, a topic surrounding gaming, cartoons, TV shows, music, or anything at all involving fictional media. So in this episode, I'm going to be... Telling all of you my top five favorite Mario games. So let's not waste any time. Y'all take a seat, get comfortable, grab your snacks and your beverages, and let's get started. Number five. Number five on the list is Mario Kart Double Dash, my personal favorite out of all the Mario Kart games. Now, of course, all the Mario Kart games are great, but this is the one that I chose because I have the most nostalgia for it, and I like the double, I like the doubles mechanic. I mean, some people will say like the doubles mechanic is not really, really good. I mean, but but I think that it's it's a really great mechanic that needs to return in future installments. And of all the Mario Kart games, this one is the one I have to include on this list. My favorite out of, the, out of this out of the series. I really would hope to, well, if they make a Mario Kart Nine. I mean, I know they'll also make a Mario Kart Tour, but. I doubt they're going to bring those and get back, get me back there. But if they didn't, if they didn't make Mario Kart 9, I really wish they'd bring back the Double Dash gimmick. I think it'll definitely be a lot of fun. Number 4. Number 4 on the list is Super Mario Odyssey. What can I say about this game? Other than the fact that it's amazing. What hasn't been said before about this game? It's absolutely amazing and a must-have on the Switch. You gotta love the graphics, I love the story, you gotta love the the music and the game and the gameplay. Just everything about this game is amazing. Definitely must have the switch and definitely well deserved on this list. It's, it's it might be a little pretty low on the list, like it's only only number four, but there are just some other things I just find better. But this is still well deserving of being on this list. Number three. Number three on the list is Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the Galaxy series, my personal favorite out of the entire Mario 3D platforming series, like I guess you, if you call that the series. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, so I decided to just put them both as number three. But these games are amazing. Gameplay, music, graphics, story, everything about these games is just completely amazing. Now, if I remember correctly, I think I started off with the second game, and then got the first game later. I don't actually remember which one I got first, but I feel like I got the second one first. Either way, both of these are awesome. And if a third one came out on the Switch, I would pee my pants. The, like, the pee, will, it will go by Niagara Falls. It will flood the street. But, oh, wait, no, 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 it won't. That'll be, that'll be, that, that's gross. What is wrong with me? <clears throat> but seriously, these are amazing games, and must-haves for the Wii. And they're definitely way deserving of being on this list of my top five favorite Mario games. Number two. Number two on the list is Super Mario Maker. When I heard this game was coming out, I could not believe it. Because here's a story. Back in the old days at YouTube, I grew up with two YouTube channels. Proton John and Azoblade49. And they did Mario ROM hack videos, so Super Mario World. And I was thinking to myself, well, I want to do, I want to record, or not record, I want to make my own Mario ROM hack too. But then you had to download like all the features like Lunar Magic and do stuff from the Super Mario World Central website. Then when this game came out, I was like, oh, it'll be just like making a Mario ROM hack, only without having to download all the fancy gizmos. And then, and I thought it was actually going to be a digital game, but they made it end up making it a physical game. Physical, physical game. And of course I have the 3DS version as well, and, and I do enjoy the 3DS version even though most people don't. And then I can't wait for Mario Maker 2. That's gonna be, that's probably gonna be my game of 2019. I'm so excited for that. And, I'm, and I will do a video on it. I'll do a review, so stay tuned for my channel for that. But this is definitely deserving of being on my list as well. Great game. With a game like that, how did, how did the Wii U fail? How did the Wii U fail with all this glows with this great library? Who knows? Now before we go over my favorite Mario game, let's go over some honorable mentions. Starting off with Super Mario Sunshine. 
Now this game barely made the list. Like this would probably be what I would, like if I this is a top ten video, this would probably be number six on the list. On behind Mario Kart Double Dash, this is a really this is another one of my favorite my favorite three D platformers. But then again, my third favorite of the series, and it's a great game overall. Back in the day, it got overlooked because because it was now it was inferior to Super Mario sixty four, but nowadays people will like nowadays or like back then. People end up realizing how awesome the game is, and it's a great, great game, and then must have for the GameCube or the Wii, because you can play. If you guys didn't know about that, I mean, I don't know anyone who hasn't known about this, but you can play GameCube games on your Wii. So, if you have a Wii or a GameCube, pick this game up. If you don't have this game for your GameCube, or if you have a Wii, you don't have this game, then pick it up. It's it's a great, great game. It's it almost made the list. These next three are other Mario Kart games I think should, 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 should that could have been on the list, but I chose Mario Kart Double Dash over them. Mario Kart Wii and the Mario Kart 8 games, Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now these are also all really great Mario Kart games, even though Mario Kart 8 is you know, Mario Kart 8 is just obsolete now because of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But still, the this Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart Wii, they're really great Mario Kart games. I mean, all the like I said, all of them are great. Even though I don't own the Super Nintendo one or the Game Boy Advance one, but I played them both already. I played them both in the past on like an emulators. But these ones could, could have made a list, but Mario Kart Double Dash I just find be better than all of them. I also really do enjoy the Mario Party series, but the fact that a lot of people are saying that the newer games are... And I wanted to definitely put a Mario Party game on the list, but they just couldn't make it in. But if there were two, if I had two options, to do it, it would be either Mario Party 5 or Mario Party 8. Two of my favorites are this in the series. I don't know which one I, I, I like more, so I just, I'm just putting them both on here because I think they both is a recommendation. Even though my first one game I ever played was Mario Party 7, it was first, it's also the first video game I ever played. But these two are definitely my favorites. Like Mario Party 5, I, I have much doubt for it. I have to watch my sisters play it and me myself playing it. And then Mario Party 8 was the first video game I ever owned. Like physically, me myself, the first game I ever owned. It's when I it's the game that came up with my Wii. So I remember I begged my mom to have it. Like, mom, I want a Wii. I want a Wii. And every and I wanted and I, and I want this game. I want this game. Because every time I see the commercials for it, I'd be like, oh, I want it so bad. And then one Christmas, I don't remember. What, I don't remember what year it was. But that one Christmas when I opened up and saw a Wii, and then saw Mario Party Eight, I was just like, thank you. Definitely a great Mario Party game. Both these games, like all the Mario Party games, are great, including including nine and ten. Yes, I said that. I just had to get these ones up. They, they, they could have made the list, but they didn't, so I had to put them on for honorable mentions. These next two honorable mentions are, are Mario Sports titles. So first one here is Mario Super Sluggers, which I really had a lot of fun playing this game. I have a lot of nostalgic memories when playing with my sister. Whenever we whenever we play this, we we like choose teams for each other, like, we, we give each other, like, random teams, and we, we, we had to, like, close our eyes so we went so we went to see, like, what what each other were picking, and then we picked the stadium and everything as well, and, and, we, and then we, we had to play a game with that team that they, that she, that we picked for each other. It's a lot of memories with this one, and then, it's definitely one, one of my favorite Wii titles, and definitely deserve it for honorable mentions. And then this other one is another one of my favorite Wii games. That's more of a sports mix. Very, very fun game. I really wish Square Enix would make another one of these games for this. With Nintendo and Square Enix would make another game for, for the Switch. I would love that. I mean, not like Sports Superstars. I mean, Sports Superstars was a good game, but it just wasn't. It just couldn't compete with this game. This is an amazing, amazing game. I really hope you can get another one of these games on the, on the Switch someday. And I don't mean like a port of this game. I want a new game with like whole new, with a, a, more, more sports, more characters. I, I just think people will love. Love if we got into one of these games. Definitely a really, really fun game. Definitely recommend it. One last honorable mention that I want to I want to bring up is Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. A game that, I'm, very surprising, was actually decent. I mean, I probably enjoyed it anyway because it's Mario. Who would ever think the Mario and Rabbids together in a game? That's just like, the most random thing in the world. And it worked. Like it actually worked. It was actually a very popular game. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a must-have on a Switch. I mean, I, I, I think it's a must-have, but I'm not sure if it, most people would call it that. But uh, I wanted to put put this one up here just because it was a very surprising game. 
and a very very fun one. Like, I never ever really been interested in like in these tactical strategy games, but if it's Mario included there, I would definitely try it out. It's definitely a very fun game, and it deserves to be mentioned. Number one. And now, for my favorite Mario game of all time, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I know you guys are going to say, well, Mike, this isn't technically Smash Bros. This is technically Smash Bros. This isn't Mario. Yes, that's true, but Mario pretty much has more representation in the Smash games than any other franchise in the game. So, I had to include it on here as, as a Mario game and part of the collection. Now, a lot of people are going to be are probably going to hate on this, being like, no, Melee is the best game, because the community loves Melee. Everyone says Melee is the best one. But really, Ultimate is my favorite out of, of, of the series. So many characters, everyone is here, except Waluigi. <laughs> yeah. Great game overall. I, can, I can't wait to find out what more DLC characters are going to be added. We only got Joker so far. Hopefully when the, in, in the next Direct, which is June 11th, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on it. Hopefully, we'll get a new character reveal then. I can't wait to find out what it's going to be. But this is the game I, I put my most time into on my Switch. So it's still currently my most played Switch game. Love this game to death. Love the uh, new stage builder mode. I've been creating a whole lot of new new stages. I'm sure you've seen the, on the internet, a lot of people making these weird stages, like all these inappropriate stages. It's like, why? Why do you got to ruin the whole experience by doing that? Anyway, this is definitely something to be on the list. And this is the one game that I would choose. If someone said one of my favorite Mario game ones, Smash Bros. Ultimate would be that game. So that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the first episode of the Pizza Mind Mario Top 5 Favorites series. Did you like the video? If you did, be sure to punch that like button below, like a piece of dough. Subscribe to this channel so you can become a member of the Pizza Mind Mario Party today. Share this video out with your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, or whoever you want to share with. And turn on notifications so you can be the first one to see all upcoming videos. And also, comment down below what other top five favorite series, what other top five favorite videos you guys want to see. So let me know down in the comments, and I'll see if I can get around to doing those. So, for now, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, this is your boy Mike, signing out. Peace out, y'all. Oh wait, I forgot Hotel Mario. <laughs>